Germany is facing stiff resistance from France to ease back on austerity as Europe's leaders gather in Brussels for another EU summit. French President François Hollande has called for more measures to boost growth in indebted Eurozone economies. All this while at home, his government looks set to miss its EU-mandated deficit target of 3% of GDP this year. Voters have ousted a number of EU leaders over cuts, including Italy's Mario Monti. I will speak to my colleagues knowing that I'm participating for the last time at an EU summit. I'll invite them to reflect on Italy's case in a positive and also negative manner, because beyond the importance of Italy as one of the biggest member states of the European Union, it's necessary to reflect more widely on the Italian case. Europe's austerity policies received fresh criticism from Nobel Prize winning economist Paul Krugman last week. He traded barbs with EU officials over spending cuts, which he says has left the European economy in disastrous shape. Ministers warn countries must honour their obligations. I think that the targets have to be met. We have to reduce the debt burden and we have to ensure that the gap between expenditure and revenues is, is closed. Cypriot President Nikos Anastasiadis is at his first EU summit amid discussions on how to bail out his country's sick banks.